Lutron dimmers can easily be installed in under 15 minutes and require only a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape. First, turn the power off at the breaker. Double check to make sure the power is off. Then remove your existing switch. If you have two switches that control this light, you should have three wires plus a ground connected to your old switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the different colored screw of the existing switch. This is typically a black wire. Then remove your existing switch. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tagged wire to the black wire on your new dimmer. Then connect the remaining two wires individually to the red wire and blue wire on the dimmer. Make a note of the color wire that you connect to the blue wire in this location. We'll need to identify this wire in the second location. In this example, we're choosing the red wire to connect to the blue. Mount the control and move to the second location. You have an option of installing a Sunata accessory switch or adding a jumper wire to an existing three-way switch. If more than two switches control the light, you must use a Sunata accessory switch in the remaining locations. To install a Sunata accessory switch, take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire before removing the old switch. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove the switch. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the switch. Attach the tagged wire to the black wire on the accessory. Identify the same color wire you attached to the blue wire in the first location and connect it to the blue on the accessory. Connect the remaining wire to the red wire, mount the accessory switch back into the wall. If you have a four-way location, you should have four wires plus a ground coming out from the wall. Remove the old switch, connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the switch. Identify two wires that are the same color of the wire you are attaching to the blue wire in the other locations. Attach both of these wires to the blue wire on the accessory switch. Attach the remaining two wires each to the black and to the red wire. It will not matter which wire attaches to black and which one attaches to red. Mount the control, install your wall plates. If you're using an existing switch in the other location, take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove the tagged wire from the switch. Identify the wire that is the same color as what we attached to the blue screw in the other location. Leave this wire connected and remove the remaining wire from the switch. Connect the two removed wires together with the yellow jumper wire. Connect the other end of the yellow jumper wire to the black screw on the existing switch and turn the power back on at the breaker. Check that the dimmer turns the lights on and off. Now that your dimmer is installed, Adjust the low end of the dimming range to improve bulb performance. Touch the middle of the light bar for about 6 seconds until the light bar begins to flash and release. Slide your finger on the bar to adjust the light as low as it will go without flickering or turning off. Once you've set the desired low end level, tap the off button to save the setting. Turn the lights off and then on again. If all the bulbs don't turn on or are flickering, repeat the previous steps and that's it. To learn about adjusting more settings for your Sunata dimmer, visit lutron.com slash Sunata My Level.